What's up y'all, Forrest with Music City Playbook. Today I wanted to go through guitar tones in Studio One 5. I've been loving diving into Studio One. I'm fairly new to it, but I've really enjoyed getting to know the tones that they have built into some of their stock amp simulators. So let's check it out. All right, so on each one of these tracks here, I have pulled up some of my favorites that I've kind of been messing with. And... <laughs> This is one of the Fender remakes here. And what's cool about it is you can come over here and change which input that you're using. It has the brightness. really like that vibrato on that. I can come back over here. If I wanted to, if I wanted to help this sound a little bit more, I could come over here and drag this pedal board. I want to drag this pedal board onto the same channel strip, and really, I could take it to the top and put it before the amp. And we can add, let's see, some modulation here. There it is. So I like that. I'm going to add another pedal here. Let's try out a reverb. All right, so that sounds pretty cool. Adjust the size a little bit here. I'm gonna try to resist the whole lick. I know what y'all are hearing. So that's pretty cool. Just a couple pedals in front of that chain there. Let's go ahead and move on to this next amp here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these extra plugins off, but for right now, on this amp, looks more like the Marshall style. On my pedal board, let's see what I got going here. A couple different things. A bit of delay. A pretty aggressive distortion. I'd probably just do most of my leads on this type of amp, but it is a Marshall, so it's supposed to be aggressive. Sounds pretty good. Turn this delay off, turn this. Uh... Super dirty there. Could turn on this chorus. Hear what this sounds like. Pretty cool. Pretty cool pedal selection here. Let's go ahead and move on to this third amp. It's called the dual amp, the dual rectifier. I think that's what they call some of these. Uh, think of like a Mesa Boogie or something like that. Rock, kind of like where you play just a... That's what you want for that. Less of the chords. I want to 
notice that uh that there's like that. That kind of stuff, like where you're, it's like the uh, more chunky rock stuff that you're playing less chords or more bar chords. That's what you want this amp for. Sounds pretty good for a high gain, for a high gain amp sim like that. That's pretty cool. And that, again, that's this dual rectifier amp. We can go to these different channels here. Super clean. And it gets dirty quick. What I'm playing is actually... Just nasty. Last but not least, we have this AC30 remake here on the Studio One Empire. Here's how that sounds. Pretty freaking sweet. It's got the tremolo. If you don't want the tremolo, we can go to regular input here. Sounds like I got something going on the pedal board. Let's check it out. And I do. I got some reverb. Let's turn that off. So that's just the amp sound. Turn this reverb back on. It's pretty cool. I really like that AC30 vibe where it has the tremolo though. So if I use this amp, I'd probably come back over here, plug it right back in here. Use that for like my diamonds, you know? Just trying out all kinds of different chords. Cause sometimes you hit just hit that voicing where it just feels right on a tone like this. It could be inspiring for songwriting or whatever. <laughs> I'd never write a song with those chords, honestly, but. It just sounds cool on the guitar. I think they sound pretty cool. I mean, like, I know I'm more familiar with Logic's amp sims. So just diving into this Empire, good name, by the way. Presona Studio One, killing it. Let's listen again back to this twin. It's pretty cool. Let me turn off this pedal board real quick. At least this verb. And this modulation. Sounds pretty good. One more time. Let's play with this... Uh, Marshall remake here. It's almost like JCM 800 or something. That one might that one might be my favorite. Man, and just dropping a verb on a send would be great for that. But let's keep going on this duel.
Another great rock amp. And last but not least, one more listen to this Vox IC30. Between the Marshall remake and this Vox AC30, these two may be my favorite amps on the Empire. So, but for hey, stock plugins that come with Studio One, I think this is pretty awesome. These things sound great. I can make a record or a demo with these amps alone. Uh, and I know some of you guys at home are always looking for new amp tones. And with this pedal board, being able to throw all these stock plugins on there. There's a lot of different tones that you can get through Empire. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to learn more about these. And yes, I'll still use Guitar Rig Six. I'll still use, uh, you know, Amplitude, some of those things. But having these in the stock library, being familiar with what your stock lab library has to offer, is super important. So if you're a Studio One Five user, you know you have some awesome tones available to you. If you're not sure what DAW to get into yet, I'd encourage you to jump into Studio One Five. I'm new to it and I've been really enjoy getting to know the stock plugins. There's a lot of them and it handles audio and recording a bunch of different things really well. Thank you guys for hanging out today. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and we'll get more of it out to you as soon as possible. We'll see you next time.